Hello puzzle lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael and today we are back with a new puzzle. Check it out. Yes, we are back with another Anamaya puzzle. Last time with a cast marble, it was so hard and challenging, but I really love it and I wanted to try more of their puzzles. But I think the cast padlock will be one of them, but again, you struggle, you need to think, and you need to do a lot of steps to try to solve it. And as you can see, this puzzle is rated 5 out of 6 stars, so again, I think it will be a challenging puzzle, and just let's get into it. And here it is, the padlock from Anamaya. So again, it's a metallic puzzle and just by the look of it, again, it looks really nice, well made, like a very good quality puzzle. We can also see that it's divided in four pieces. Yeah, you have uh, the core of the padlock that is divided in two pieces. Uh, you can see like the name padlock and with this kind of, of key hole. And then you have these two rotating as well part of the puzzle that look like to be the lock and uh, by the look of it it will be where we will be able to escape so to take off the core of the puzzle and then to be able to solve it so last time in the cast marble i went too fast and um, i couldn't remember how i actually solved it or i disassembled it and then i struggled a lot to try to remember how to reassemble it so this time I will try to be more careful and more attentive about the action that I'm doing. Also in the description of this puzzle, they say like to be patient and to continue to try to try it, to unlock and to relock it. So I believe it will be a many step puzzle, like it's not just go for it straight away and then unlock it. Maybe we will have to play a lot with uh, the, the locks. So let's call these two parts the locks and these two the cores. So I, yeah, I think there will be a lot of steps like unlock something, maybe one of them, and then try to come back to kind of, I don't know, uh, re-lock re them together. And then finally maybe unlock everything at the same time. But we will see, we will try to, to solve it. So yeah, we can see that there is a lot of movement in this puzzle, it's not a quite a tight puzzle, um, it's quite easy to, to move everything and I don't know, maybe just it will be maybe easy to so maybe you will have to do like kind of a, a big chunk of movement and And it will be like not like very tight, but you have to do small things to make sure that it's quite precise. I think let's just check. Like you can also see that you can align uh, all the pieces. Maybe there is a way like to just try to unlock something like this. Maybe not. We put like an opening on one side and the opening on the other side, there is something happening. Oh, okay. So yeah, so if I go back, just to make sure that I remember all the steps so it would be easier to So it would be easier to reassemble, but uh, what's, what's happening? It's getting back, but like I don't have the opening anymore. So yeah, I'm back. So yeah, you have the opening. What you need to do is actually to align the center of the core with, the, with just one opening. Uh, and then it gives a space inside the, this lock to just slide. And it looks like you need to play a lot with the, the level of the core. Like one has to be up and the other has to be down. 
and so you yeah okay and so you try to avoid uh, this to interfere with this and on the other side I believe it will be the same so nothing gets stuck all together and I cannot uh, come back where I was obviously otherwise it would be too easy maybe if I do okay I'm back so I guess that's the first step of the puzzle um, we could see that if I turn it no we could see that if I turn it somehow we could have like a new part of the puzzle that all the opening of the locks were, st were stuck no, I don't have to, to be like this but if I do that I will end up the same again how did I manage? how did I do that? Do I need to force? I don't think so. I don't think I should. But I'm back. Okay, I'm back with what I was looking for. So I managed to put this opening here and before they were outside of the cores. So maybe that's already something nicer to try to escape. Uh, that looks a bit tight for the for the course to get into the so yeah we can see that there is like a, a round shape on both sides it's like drawing a 8 for the locks so then you give just enough space for one and when you get the and when you get them closer And you can just put them together and then they will be on one side of the lock of the eight of the lock so the best i believe the best to take off the course would be to have like one of the opening item and one of the opening outside so like you will have the possibility maybe to to just slide together and to be everything will just uh, slide out and you will be able to to take out the core and the lock at the same time and then how do you get one in one out again you have to be careful like to make sure that this shape from the from the lock doesn't interfere with uh, the core so it's not blocked and like you are stuck because you cannot move uh, because the the core is eating the, the lock so what if i align these two Oh, I have something, okay. So, what you need to do is like to align like the center of the course with, uh, yeah, with like the, the opposite side of the openings. And if you move one down, one up, it slide. Then what would I get with that? I'm not sure. Just give me something. Can I get one in and one out like this? I'm stuck now. No, yeah. Go, go. I can almost take off a core. You can see that I can almost take off one core but because 
I need this one to be on the other side. I can't go fully. So. But wait. I have actually one. How did I manage to get one in and one out? Oh, by doing this? How? Okay, it's what I didn't want to get, like to get lost. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, so. You, you see? So, like, I have a core up. And because it's not interfering with anything, I can slide to this upper lock and put everything back together. It's like, and I, I like, and it's like I grip him and then put it back. So I will be able to put it back somehow. Yeah. And then I come back with the inside. Okay, so. I slide up and then I try to go. No, no. I said I slide. Yeah. I'll turn you a bit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then I can slide it again and then I have my one up. So one out and one in. So now I should be able to do something like this, to try to align and then to just slide it. So I believe it makes sense to switch the opening of the logs. Uh, let's pay attention to the details, but if you remove this one, you can see that this is the old key that get out first. That's smart. I guess if you open a padlock, then you use a key into the hole and it opened the thing, so maybe they wanted it this way. Okay, so I can just go straight back into it and then just put it back together uh, quite fast if I do that. But yeah, uh, I guess puzzle is done. So we can remove everything piece by piece. It's quite nice. Um, simple. But terrible. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So let's just try to put it back all together now. I, I think I pay enough attention to to remember. So that's easy. I try to uh, keep everything close to each other. So it was like this.
Oh yeah, I do. Just turn and lock back. Everything is back to the original position. So puzzle unlock and relock. Whew, that was so hard. But this this these puzzles from this brand uh, Anayama are just crazy. They are just mind blowing. Um, you just keep doing like all these steps and you just think you go backward and then just it's just messing around with your head and that's what i think i love about them the puzzle they do like it's just to mess with your with your mind uh really like you think you go in the good direction but you don't you just keep doing the same thing over and over until you realize like what i need to go forward i need to do something and and yeah it's just like like tricky things to do between each of the components to just go one step further and i think the the hardest is just because you get so tired your mind is just like completely burned and it's just like you finish it and you're so excited you remove everything and you are like gosh how did that happen thanks i could remember this time like i was very careful about how to remove it thanks for that otherwise again i will just spend so much time to remember like how to put it back together and then yeah i remember there were like some some earth shape to do and like the other way to get like the the opening of the logs like in and then there to be out thanks to me i could remember all of this because otherwise i would just spend like so many times again to try to remove it hey guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this new puzzle from anamaya again crazy puzzle very hard and a lot of steps to do but it's always satisfying when you finish this Anamaya puzzle. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please put a like on my video and also subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me, especially like I will see that you enjoy this video, enjoy this kind of content. And so it will show me that you enjoy and that you want me to continue to make more videos. And I see you next week. Bye.